Tempers flared today at practice as Javon Wims threw punches at Prince of Mukamara's helmet. What's up guys, I'm back with another Bears training camp update and before I begin with the video, I must say that I do not have footage of this fight. Nobody does because Mad Nagy and the rest of our squad, they like to keep everything internal, they don't leak anything, so thankfully no footage exists because that would kind of cause some drama, but if you clicked on this looking for footage, you know, I do not have this, but I'm going to break down what happened for you guys. So pretty much we were in the middle of a long 2 hour and 40 minute practice where it was pretty hot outside, you know, people were getting tired. And at the end of the first hour, a play occurred where presumably, you know, Javon Wims was going up against Prince of Mukamara and Prince of Mukamara made a phenomenal play on the ball, you know, preventing Javon Wims from catching the ball. And for whatever reason, Javon Wims got extremely angry at Prince of Mukamara, hurling the ball at his face pretty hard and then coming with a few punches directly at his helmets, okay? He was swinging wildly for a while until Prince of Mukamara kind of tried to stop him until he kind of fought back as well because, I mean, although Prince of Mukamara is a pretty classy guy, I mean, if you have another grown man throwing punches at you, you're probably going to throw punches back too, especially in this heat, you know, in this weather. So they were fighting for a while until a bunch of players got in the middle trying to separate them. And then some more blow-ups happened. Eddie Jackson got extremely angry at Wims, okay, going after Wims as well because... I mean, Jackson was trying to protect his fellow defensive back, Prince of Mukamara. And then Bradley Sowell got in the middle as well, trying to lead Wims away. So it was a big, ugly mess. A lot of players got involved. A lot of players tried to stop this thing. And it pretty much stopped practice for a while. I mean, Wims and Mukamara were out of practice for, I mean, a couple minutes, a couple plays at least. And um, that's when Coach Nagy actually talked to them both. Um, they summoned Wims to midfield with wide receivers coach Mike Ferry. And then later on, after talking with him for a while like that, you know, they brought Prince of Mukamara in as well. And then, you know, they talked about it. They apologized and they resolved the whole situation. So nothing like too bad happened, right? But I want to kind of analyze this a little bit because I just have to say that Javon Wims was a complete and utter idiot for punching Prince of Mukamara's helmet, okay? You have to be an absolute idiot to punch somebody's helmet when you are a wide receiver, your hands are the most important thing you have, right? You use your hands for pretty much everything you do. You're trying to catch the ball. And Javon Wims, knowing that, I mean, Anthony Miller has an injury, knowing that you could probably, you know, advance up this depth chart because you've been playing so good in training camp, why would you punch at somebody's helmet and risk breaking your hand? I mean, this has happened so many times before in, in football and other sports. When you punch somebody's helmet, it's not a good idea because a helmet is usually stronger than your hand. You're probably going to break your hand. So, absolutely boneheaded move by Javon Wims. Thankfully, he did not get hurt because that would have been an absolute embarrassment for him. But, I mean, Javon Wims, you have to be smarter in that situation. Coach Nagy talked about this with the media briefly. He said that we talk about how we're going to handle these things internally when things do happen. I think, to me, there's different levels of it. I know some levels it can get out of control and there's some other ones where it's competitive, guys are chirping. Guys want to do well, and the beauty of our sport and sports in general is you care. These guys care, and they're trying to make the team, and they're trying to make plays, and sometimes the juices get flowing. That's my job to come in and clear the dust, settle the dust. So, I mean, Matt Nagy is pretty much saying that, look, football is football, right? You're out there in the heat trying to, I mean, impose your will on the other side. So, it like, fights like this always happen in training camp, in practice. It's not such a big deal to me this fight even happened because it shows that the players are going really hard in practice, okay? They're trying to win. They're trying to beat the other side. So they really care about this football team. They care about being better. But I'm just like kind of mad at Javon Wims for doing this because he was obviously the aggressor in this whole situation. And for him to punch somebody's helmet, risk his own, I mean, hands, risk an injury, that's really, really stupid of him. So hopefully he got a pretty good scolding, a pretty good talk about that because you cannot be immature like that. But... Otherwise, you know, this fight just shows that even the tightest knit teams, they have blow-ups too, right? Being with each other every single day, you know, doing everything together, you're bound to get mad at each other at some point. So it's not such a big deal, but let's just hope that Javon Williams is more mature in future practices. That is all I have to say about this. Leave your comments down below. Let me know what you think about the situation, but as always, bear down. <laughs>